Hi, it's Jo here and today I want to show you five doll making tools I couldn't live without. Some of these tools you might not even think of as doll making tools and some of them might really surprise you. I'm a textile doll artist. These are all tools that I would use for making textile dolls. A clay doll artist or a ball jointed doll artist would have some very different tools that they use. The first tool that I couldn't live without is my old Janome sewing machine. I've had it for several years now. It's the second Janome machine I've had. Had. The first machine I bought is still working but it just had some very basic stitches on it so I bought a slightly more updated machine with um, some more stitches that I use for overlocking seams. My machine is old, it's scruffy, it's covered in stickers but I love it and I wouldn't be without it. The next doll making tool I couldn't live without are my hemostats. Yes these are the tool that surgeons use in operating theatres. I use it for all sorts of things. It gets used for pulling needles through when I'm jointing arms and legs on my dolls. It gets used for pushing stuffing into the limbs. I've had this pair for a lot of years and I've just kept using them and using them and they still work fine and yeah, wouldn't be without them. The next doll making tool that I couldn't live without is my ballpoint bobkin. I use this a lot for stuffing. I use both ends for stuffing and the loop end is also really handy for pulling ribbon and elastic through seams. The next doll making tool I couldn't live without for making textile dolls is my clover felting tool. I actually have two of these felting tools. I use these to felt the hair on the head. The clover tool takes up to three needles which is good for doing most of the head. I felt the fibre in layer by layer and when it comes to doing the fine details like doing a parting on the head or doing around the the edge if i want to get a fine line i have another one which i just have two needles i keep the two separate so i can switch between them easily just having two needles in it allows me to do a straight line i use heidi feathers felting needles for this and those are the best ones i've tried they uh, last absolutely ages they're lovely and sharp and they felt really quickly i use the 38 gauge needles they're the ones with the red tip felting needles have the tiny little barbs in them they're razor sharp and they attach on to the fiber inside of the doll head and knit the hair fiber into that so it holds quite well when i felted the hair into the head the next thing i need is this my secret weapon the monster high hairbrush i got this free with a monster high doll i think i got it with a Spectra von der Geist doll many years ago and I found it is the best tool for combing out the loose fibres and for um, putting the finishing touches to doll hair. I'd like to do some more similar videos. I'd like to do some more in-depth videos on things like needle felting. So please do subscribe if you think that's something you'd be interested in and I'll see you next time.